Normally I don't read speeches, but there were certain things I want to make sure that I covered today, so I wrote this one. So I apologize if I am looking up and down a little bit. So good morning. Good morning. I'm proud to be here today to dedicate the event center at Chesapeake Employers Insurance Arena. For those of you familiar with us, <clears throat> Chesapeake Employers is a workers' compensation insurance company. We specialize in the line of business, workers' compensation insurance in the great state of Maryland. We have been in business for over 107 years, dating back to 1914. We have been here in the good times and the bad times, and we provide an available and competitively priced workers' compensation insurance product for Maryland workers to rely on. I could tell you we're the largest writer of workers' compensation insurance in the state of Maryland. I could tell you that we are AM best, A minus rated for financial excellence. I could tell you that we've paid back $25 million worth of dividends to customers over the last two and a half years. I could also tell you about our 400 employees that work there who are specifically workers' compensation insurance specialists. But to be honest with you, the thing I'm the most proud about is our big commitment to safety. We have over 15 professional associates in the company. We have invested in state-of-the-art virtual reality equipment. We have online safety classes and programs. Our number one priority is to return workers to their homes safely at the end of the day. Our tagline, our jingle, which is more than a tagline and a jingle, is at the end of every workday, someone's waiting for your safe return. And we generally show an employee going back home to their children who value them coming home safely enormously. However, no matter how much we try to provide safety to people, accidents still will happen. We generally receive about 10,000 first report of injuries in a year. Over the past several years, we've spent a lot of time, energy, financial commitment to building out a medical team within our company. We have three doctors. We have a full-time pharmacist, a part-time physical therapist, and over 20 nurses whose goal is to help get people back to the best quality of life they can get to and get them back to work as soon as possible. In addition to that, though, we have also worked very diligently on getting legislation enacted and things accomplished to help promote, again, safety and rehabilitation. We provided $750,000 to the state of Maryland's Department of Health and Mental Hygiene several years ago for them to launch the prescription drug monitoring program to help identify what drugs were being given to people in general and especially injured workers. This helped us make a strong push on curbing in the opioid epidemic that was nationwide. We have prided ourselves in innovation. We have prided ourselves in being a leader. We provided, we've prided ourselves in wanting to be the best in breed. Just last year, for example, in December, we launched a new program on our internet, a icon on the internet that says Work Comp Connect. Work Comp Connect was designed to help individuals who suffer from burns, brain trauma, paralysis, and other type of injuries get connected to groups of people at neighboring locations who have suffered similar type of injuries. Our belief is the best people to help you navigate and get back to a certain quality of life are people who've walked in your shoes, and we're very proud of that. We want to continue to pioneer new ideas. We want others to look at us to see that we're best in breed as it relates to work comp. In the sports world, athletes will train with the very best when they want to be the very best. We are no different. In wanting to be an innovator, we looked for a partner who is known for innovation. This was one of the factors in what attracted us to UMBC. Dr. Herbrowski has developed 
and continues a culture of innovation here. On annually, his organization is ranked in the top across the country by independent parties as being a leader in innovation. We want to be part of that innovation with UMBC. In your, if, in your organization wants to innovate and develop new ideas, this is the organization you want to be involved with. So while we are proud to have our name and logo on this building, we are much prouder to be partnering with a great leader, a great team, and a great organization. In closing, I want to thank the Chesapeake Board of Directors and our over 400 employees who are constantly striving to make us the best. I believe this partnership takes us even further in that direction. We look forward to working with UMBC for many years. Thank you.